In this session we shall see the analysis and design of steel truss bridge for its steel truss superstructure, RCC deck slab, RCC abutment, RCC pier and fabrication shop drawings and RCC structural detail drawings. The Astra Pro main screen is opened, select menu item file, then select working folder. As the selection box comes user may use the button browse and select folder work on the desktop. Next, select menu item file, then select bridge design and further select steel truss bridge warren 1, then IRC slash IS standard. The window opens with various data for steel truss superstructure for span of length 60 meters and other data for analyses are given as default. Currently open tab page is structure geometry. Other tab pages of the window for various details are for individual tasks related to the analyses of the truss bridge model of the superstructure. Click on button new design, message comes as the project is created as design job number 1, next, click on button create structure geometry, this creates the structural model of the truss bridge superstructure. With beam and truss elements. Next, open the tab page Steel Structure Load, DL, for default member sections as per steel tables and finally calculating the steel weight of the structure in tons. In the table members are grouped with identical lengths, sections, and their positions in the structure. A group may be selected by clicking in the list and the corresponding section details are displayed on the right side of the window. User may modify the section for a group selected in the list in respect of height, width, and thickness of the top, bottom, side and stiffener plates and by clicking on the button. Update the modification can be saved for the group. User has to select section 15 and then build up in next box to define a custom section. The steel tonnage is computed and displayed at the bottom of the window. Next, open the tab page Superimposed Dead Load, SIDL, where the various fixed and imposed items are listed with their dimensions and weight and theses are considered as superimposed dead loads. In the page for moving load data the combinations of two lane IRC class A loading is applied lane wise on the bridge deck on the left panel and the various load types are defined on the right panel, referring to IRC 6. By clicking on button view moving load the window opens for animated view of the vehicle axles moving over the bridge deck, after viewing the window may be closed. The X distances are the lengths of vehicles, which are the rear end of the vehicles and the front ends of the vehicles are at zero is X direction, which is the start of the bridge deck, before riding on the bridge. The Z distances are the lateral distances from the side edge of the bridge deck for first and second lanes of the vehicles. By rotating the 3D model and by, by clicking on button run user may view the moving of axles of the vehicles over the bridge deck at the given increment. For each increment of movement a live load case is created. Click on button stop, and may expand the load types in the left panel to view. Next, open the tab page analysis plus design. and click on button create analysis data, this will create the analysis data file. Next, click on button process analysis, click on button process to start the process. As the process starts the dialog box comes to verify the analysis data, click on button proceed. As the data check is over and load cases are obtained, the message comes, click on button OK. The analysis will be done and the message comes informing about the report is created, click on button OK. This completes the process. Next, click on button process design, as the design is over the message comes. User may open the design report and after viewing close the report.
In lower panel of the window there are two tab pages these are analysis results and design results. For any item if the section for the member group is ok in the design but user wants to reduce the size of the section of the group members, for example stringer beam, then click to select the item, go back to the tab page steel structure load, modify the section. Click on button update. Come back to tab page analysis plus design and repeat the above process. If it is found that the reduced section is not ok, then user has to increase the section for the member group by selecting in the list. And again go back to the tab page steel structure load, DL, to modify the section and update. And repeat the process steps in tab page analysis plus design. Next, open the tab page analysis and design of concrete structures, this has further 4 tab pages in this page, these are DL and LL analysis, DEX slab, RCC abutment and RCC peer. Currently the tab page for DL and LL analysis is opened, click on button process dead load and live load data. A list comes with 3 analyses for different dead and moving loads. Click on button process to start the process. As the process starts the dialog box comes to verify the analyses data, click on button proceed. As the data check is over and load cases are obtained, the message comes, click on button OK. Next the dialog box comes to process the analysis input data, click on button proceed. The analysis will be done and the message comes informing about the report is created, click on button OK. This completes the process. The above process will be repeated for three separate analyses for different applications of moving live loads. Next, the page for DEX lab is opened. This tab page contains three further tab pages for DEX lab input data, live load input data, analysis process, and design. In first two tab pages the default data is given which user may change as desired. Next, open the tab page for analysis process and design, click on button create DEX lab analysis input data, and the analysis input data files are created for seven different analysis. Click on button process DEX lab analysis. As the process starts the dialog box comes for data validation, click on button proceed, as the process is over message comes click on OK, next the dialog box comes for analysis, click on button proceed, as all the 7 analyses are over the message comes by informing about the report file, click on OK.
as the processes are over the result is displayed in the table. As the analysis for the DEX lab is done, the next step is to design the DEX lab for structural details and it is done by transverse analysis in effective width method. Click on button process for new design and save as user's design with user's given file name. This opens the Excel worksheet with tabs at the bottom for input which is all read taken from analysis input, live load, design, and cantilever.af. After viewing the design the Excel file may be saved and closed. The original file may be opened by using the button open design report and file saved with user's given file name may be opened by using button open user's design by selecting user's given file name. Next, the page for RCC abutment is opened. The two options available options are for abutment with open foundation and abutment with pile foundation. We select the option abutment with pile foundation. Click on button process for new design. The Excel worksheet opens. There are various tab pages at the bottom for various design aspects and may be checked and finally closed by the user. Next, the page for RCC peer is opened, the two options available options are for peer with open foundation and peer with pile foundation, we select the option peer with pile foundation. Click on button process for new design. The Excel worksheet opens. There are various tab pages at the bottom for various design aspects and may be checked and finally closed by the user.
Next, the page for drawing is opened, upon selecting the desired button the set of sample drawings are opened in Astra Viewer CAD for necessary editing and saving either as DWG or DXF file. Upon finishing user may close the CAD window. This is the end of the session for the design of RCC Steel Truss Bridge. You may write to techsoftinfra at gmail.com or techsoft at consultant.com. Thank you.